Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to bring up walls to block the player after they've walked through somewhere to kind of guide them or set up puzzles. So in this example I'm going to bring up a asset which is a wall which looks very similar to the block that I'm using. We'll go ahead and line that up so it's uh, as close to the wall as possible and we'll go ahead and make that invisible and no collisions. Next, we're going to add a replace behavior. So we're going to add replace asset, and we're going to replace it by the exact same asset, backrooms wall. And we're going to need a message for this to happen. So we'll say wall.1.appear. And we want collisions when it does come out uh, with the replace asset. So wall.1.appear is required. And next we're gonna bring out a numpad. So we'll go ahead and bring out just a gray numpad. Any, any asset will do here. We'll make that invisible with no collisions and we'll add a speaker component. We don't want any messages and we don't want it to look at the entity. And we want to have the detection range as small, something small like that. Um, you can do a sphere if you want, or you can do a block for the detection shape. That is up to you. But the message we send is going to be wall.1.appear. So if we go ahead and click tab, and here's our entrance way. When we walk through and we turn around, you can see now that wall has appeared. Um, you will obviously have to line it up and fix it so it looks proper. Uh, but that's just one way to guide the player through, you know, complicated mazes that they don't need to go back. So it, um, it gamifies it a bit. And same here, we've got an empty room. I have a switch here, which is a numpad that detects the player. And when they come back, uh, the wall is disappeared. So same thing with the appearing. Uh, we have replace asset to make that um, appear, but you can't make that disappear. So the way to make that disappear is we have the same thing. We have a, a wall asset that you can move around. Um, it has a tag and that tag here uh, can make this wall disappear when a message called puzzle one wall down has been sent. Uh, it's fixed in range to the tag correct, which this wall has, uh, and then it removes the visibility and the collisions. And the same thing here, we can send a message to this numpad here, which is an active property switcher, which brings the wall up. And again, it can have collisions and visibility, it's fixed, and that will bring the wall so you can't walk through it. So this way the player can go through a maze-like event uh, and you can guide the player by removing walls or adding walls as you need them. I hope that's been useful. Have a great day.